Hello everyone, my name is Mrs. Diaz. I am here today to teach you a lesson on sunlight and weather for kindergarten. Lesson 1.1, what is the weather like today? For this lesson, you will need someone to talk to. If you don't have someone to talk to, you can talk to a stuffy. I have my stuffy. You can talk to your finger or I'll be listening in as well. So let's continue. I live in Seattle, Washington. With my husband, George, and my dog, Coda. Today, we are beginning a new unit in science. We will work as weather scientists. We will investigate weather. Hmm. Investigate. When I investigate, I want to find out different things about a topic. And that is what we're going to be doing today. But our topic is going to be weather. Our unit question, our phenomenon, is how do sunlight and different types of weather affect places? Hmm. How do sunlight and different types of weather affect places? Our investigation question is how do we describe the weather? How do we describe the weather? So now, remember when I told you that you're going to be listening and you're going to be discussing? So here, I want you to think about what ideas do you have about the weather? I'm just going to let you think because you already have ideas. You know about the weather because you are scientists. So I want to find out what ideas you have about the weather while you're thinking I'll be thinking. All right, let's begin. Did you come up with any ideas? Let me hear some. Those are some great ideas. I'm excited to begin to teach you more about the weather. Are you ready? Let's begin. There are many types of weather. We will read about a girl who observes the weather. The title of the story is called, What is the weather like today? And if you notice, she is looking outside the window. She is observing. When you observe, we use our five senses. Our sense of hearing, our sense of sight, our sense of smell, our sense of taste, and our sense of touch. So if you notice, she is looking outside. She is observing with her eyes. She's using her, the sense of sight. So again, the question is, what is the weather like today? Every morning, I wake up with a question. What is the weather like today? I do that every morning. Do you? I get up every morning, I look out the window, and I ask myself, hmm, what is the weather like today? To find out, I go to my window and look outside. The weather today might be different than it was yesterday. Weather can be sunny, cloudy, windy, rainy, or snowy. There are other types of weather too. 
Some days, I look outside and everything is wet. Drops of water are falling from the sky. I see puddles on the sidewalk. What is the weather like today? I can use what I know to make a prediction about what the weather is like today. So if you look at the picture, you see a little girl looking outside. She's making an observation. And with her observation, she's able to make predictions. So I want you now to think about what do you think is going to look like outside? What is she looking at? Could the leaves be wet? Could there be puddles in the sidewalk? Hmm, I wonder. Do you wonder? You want to find out? Let's see our next page. Now I can check my prediction. And if you see, we get to see what she's looking at right now. And yes, the weather today is, yes, rainy. Gray clouds cover the sky. Rain is falling from the clouds. Sometimes the rain falls lightly. Sometimes it rains so hard I can barely see the houses across the street. It is raining hard today. I will wear my rain boots and raincoat and bring my umbrella to school with me. Some days when I look outside the sky is blue and everything looks bright. Leaves are flying through the air. The grass is bending over and the bushes are swaying. The branches of the trees are moving back and forth. So now let's stop and think. Let's look at this picture right here. What do you think the weather is like? I know you know. Go ahead, say it. I think you're right. So let's see, let's check our prediction. Here's the same picture, but now I see something I did not see before over here. So the weather today is sunny and windy. Before we didn't see the sun. So I'm sure you said the weather is windy, so did I. But now that I see the sun, we can see that the weather today is sunny and windy windy. There are no clouds and the sun is high in the sky. Sunlight is shining on houses, trees, people, and everything else. The wind is blowing. It blows leaves through the air and made branches sway. The sunlight is very bright today, so I am going to wear my sunglasses. I'll keep my hair tied back to keep the wind from blowing it around. Some days I look outside and see ice crystals on my window. Outside everything looks white and still. White flakes are falling on the ground. I can see footprints of animals that have passed in the night. Hmm. So now we have a different weather. What is the weather like today? Can you guess? do you predict the weather will be like today? Let's take a minute and think about it. We see snow, we see flakes. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Are you thinking that the weather is going to be snowy? I think so too. So let's keep reading to check our predictions. What new information did we get from reading and looking at the pictures? Did your predictions match? The weather today is snowy. I know you got that right. When clouds get very cold, snowflakes form in the clouds. Then the snowflakes start falling to the ground. If enough snowflakes fall, they can form piles of snow. I am going to wear warm boots 
a coat and a scarf today. The weather today Some days I look outside and the sky is gray. It's daytime, but it's not very bright outside. I don't see the sun in the sky. What is the weather like today? What do you think? The weather today is, yes, you got that right, cloudy. When there are thick clouds in the sky above us, we can't see the sun. The sky looks gray and it is not bright outside. Even though we can't see the sun, it's still there behind the clouds. There are many types of weather on different days. The weather can be sunny, cloudy, windy, rainy, or snowy. There can even be more than one type of weather at a time. I want to be ready for whatever the weather brings. I might need sunglasses to prepare for sunny weather. To prepare for rain, I might need a raincoat. I want to know what the weather will be like each day so that I can always be prepared. So that is one of the reasons I look outside my window when I wake up in the morning because I need to know what I need to wear before I go outside. So being prepared is very, very important because I don't want to go outside if it's snowing and I don't have, I can't be wearing shorts. I have to be wearing long pants, a jacket, mittens. So whatever the weather is like, that's how we get dressed, just like the girl in the story. So what new vocabulary did we want to learn today? Our word for today is predict. When we predict, we use what we already know. So today we learned a new word. The word is predict. To use what you already know to decide what you think might happen. And you guys were so good about making predictions. I am so impressed. So, this concludes our presentation, our lesson for today. Next time when we get together, we're going to talk more about the weather. I have an assignment for you. So today, I want you to go outside with an adult. And I want you to observe the weather. I want you to make observations. You can use all your senses, as many as you can. Once you make your observations, I want you to draw a picture of what you observe. Remember, we're talking about the weather, so that is what we're observing. Until next time, when I see you again, I can't wait. I'm super... Um... <laughs> so guess what? This is the end of our lesson. I have an assignment for you before you leave. What I want you to do is after this presentation and with an adult, I want you to go outside and observe the weather. Then I want you to draw a picture of all the things that you observe about the weather. All right? I'm looking forward to talking to you again soon. So take care for now. I'm signing off. Have a great day. Goodbye. We have come to the end of our lesson. After this lesson is over, I want you to go outside with an adult and observe the weather. Remember, with an adult, don't go out by yourself. Draw a picture of what you observe regarding the weather. So I want you to look outside, see what kind of weather we have, and I want you to draw a picture about the weather. So, I want you to think, what new ideas did you learn today? You learned so many, 
We talked about all kinds of weather. We talked about predictions. We talked about being prepared. So I'm looking forward for our next lesson. I'll see you soon, okay? Take good care of yourself and always be prepared when you go outside. Bye.